mentioned was from so long ago, James Randall's book, Celestine Prophecy. I just saw that book two days ago in the bookstore and was reminded how it changed my life. So now you have a story about synchronicity associated to that book. Is that is my understanding? Yes. It's really the first time that I ever heard of this concept formally. Um, and so when I sat in a bar with a friend, a new friend at three in the morning, and he told me consistently some incredible stories that had connected in his life. And after he took a road trip from upstate New York to Florida, he found himself compelled to actually move there. And he moves at a very young age to live in Florida, and he walks his dogs in a field. And within a few years later, he ended up becoming the vice president of a company that was built on that lot. And for me, when I heard that, I was just so amazed that here this had happened to somebody, that they just followed this, hey, let's just go on a fun road trip. And then it led to actually something so profound in his life to his career of becoming vice president of this company. So I really couldn't get off this topic. I was just in completely compelled and um, this mesmerized. This is your first introduction to this? We, I had, you know, what I really just had started to get a feel for this through that. I'd, I'd noticed connections in my life, but I was younger, didn't know what to do with them. But once I read this book and I just started to see how many more connections there were. And it actually related to the man that told me about this. He, he said to me in the bar, he goes, well, I'm reading this book right now. And I said, well, what's it about? And he goes, well, I don't want to tell you. I'm just going to send it to you. And I, right out of my head, I said, so is it about the coincidences in life that really aren't coincidences? And he said, that's exactly what it's about. How did you know that? And I said, I don't really know where that came from. <laughs> and what was incredible is a few months later, wow. um, I had been in Chicago before meeting this man in Florida. And uh, after that meeting, I ended up in California. I was walking through a hotel in Irvine, and I heard my name called, and I turned around, and it was this new person I had met in Chicago before going to Florida. So he goes, hey, do you have time to come sit and talk? And I was like, yeah. So we sit down, and I couldn't talk about anything other than this book. It was just so compelling in my life. And um, he goes, so what's going on? And, and I said, well, I'm reading this book. It's amazing. And a man named Pat Ahura would tell me not to tell you what it's about, but I I just think you should read it. And he goes, Susan, I've been trying to get a hold of Pat Ahura for six months. Do you have his phone number? And I said, yes, I do. And so it was just incredible. And again, everywhere I kept going, I kept just kind of starting to notice. But I would kind of delve in and delve out of this concept because, you know, the world works differently, so we think. But then when we really commit ourselves to, to following something different, then just magic unfolds. And so I kind of notice, I think that that's how God and the universe talks to me is through these connections because my mind really thinks like that very strategically and how to align. And it reminded me the first synchronistic moment I can ever remember in my life. I was about 12 years old. We had just moved to La Jolla and uh, away from all our friends and so forth. And it was great to move to the beach and very exciting, but it was a new period, kind of stepping into new, new territory. And I went to Magic Mountain an opening day of Colossus roller coaster and I stood in line for four hours and all we did was get on the ride get off get on the ride get off and we four times we got to ride this well we stood with the same people and I just went with a very close family uh, girlfriend and it was so amazing that the same people wanted to do the same thing even though we all didn't know each other well about a month later my father takes our whole family on family vacation all the way up to Victoria British Columbia and as we're making our way up the coast we hike in about a quarter mile to a waterfall and standing at that waterfall was the couple who stood with me for four hours in this line and I was like mom totally know these people and she's like go say hi to them and of course the internet didn't exist and nobody had cell phones and it didn't occur to me to ask for their name and number or any of that I just walked in and I said hi uh, my name's Susan you remember me and they go yes we couldn't believe we thought it looked like you and so when I saw that experience and then now later I'm grown up and working and and I started to just you know some of these things would come like a blast and then again, I'd go back to the old way of doing it. <laughs> and um, now in these last few years, there's no way for me to, I, I, I don't feel that I'll ever be able to not follow synchronicity and let my life unfold because it's, it's, they're now happening every 24 hours, 72 hours. There's just uh, constantly a connection that is very significant. Um, and it's, I just would love everybody to live like this and so that there's more joy and there's less fear. There's a different kind of fear. You're stepping out of yourself and you're becoming as bold as possible to be friendly, you know, but who, who knows the real perception that anybody has of us? So we might as well just be as loving and embracing and joyous and friendly. And if there isn't a connection, hey, no worries. But you, for me now, I, I hate to think there's a few times that I haven't stepped out and just walked up to somebody and approached them 
because the least they can say is, no, I don't want to give you my business card, or no, I don't have time to talk to you. But the times that I've been guided, and for me, again, it all comes in angel chills, then it's just, it's been magical. So I hope that other people will look for their signs and have fun on their own treasure hunt. When we come back, we're going to find out what's been happening to you soon.